Good evening, you're watching the news on Croatian television. President Kolinda Grabar Kitarevic continued her tour of South America today. On the third day of her visit to Argentina, the president participated in a Croatian Argentinian economic forum, where she advocated strengthening economic ties between the two countries. Last night, she was named an honorary citizen of Buenos Aires. As such, your visit, Madam President, is a recognition of the rich relations between our two countries, a relationship that was created through hard work, family ties, and cooperation between our governments and people. I thank the Argentinian people who received my country's forebears as friends and with hospitality, so that they too can incorporate their lives and work into the fabric of this magical South American metropolis, their Mediterranean or Slavonian spirit, creativity, knowledge and inventiveness. In other news, Prime Minister Andrei Plenković met with his coalition partners in Banski Dvori today. One of the key issues discussed was the ratification of the Istanbul Convention. Some within the coalition government oppose ratifying the convention, which has led to speculation of divisions within their ranks. I don't know who was opposed. At today's meeting, I saw unity within the coalition. The atmosphere was positive, there was a constructive discussion, and I think we're moving in the right direction. The Parliamentary Committee for the Constitution, Standing Orders and Political System discussed more than 500 amendments to the proposed new rules of procedure in Parliament. The vast majority are from the opposition, and each amendment must be debated. The committee is expected to reconvene to continue discussing the amendments on Thursday. Out of the 525 amendments, a large number are of a technical nature and are unintelligible, in which one sentence of six words is sliced into six different amendments. We have presented some principles, and our position will remain within the framework of those principles. I think we could finish this business with the rule of procedure very quickly, or we could debate for the next couple of days or weeks. Staying with Parliament, MPs today discussed a report on the National Strategy and Action Plan for Narcotics Prevention in 2016. HSS leader Kresho Beljak voiced his support for legalizing marijuana, while the HDZ's Ivan Celic questioned the sincerity of his convictions. Perhaps out of a lack of good ideas, our colleague Mr. Beljak from the HSS is stealing ideas from the Zid, who have an authentic position regarding the legalization of marijuana. I guess by the end of the day we'll discover the HSS founder, Stepan Radic, also smoked marijuana. I would ask, just as you did, that we debate the report and not me. And I would advise my colleague Mr. Celic to roll a joint and I guarantee that he'll feel better right away. Snowmelt and constant rain have resulted in high water levels in rivers throughout the country. Waterlogged terrain triggered a landslide in Hrvatska Postanica, where some 10 homes were destroyed. As far as we know, we all managed to get out on time. I stayed in last to get some possessions out of the house, but I didn't succeed. I jumped out before I could. My mom was yelling, run, run, but we couldn't make it to the door, so we jumped off the balcony. You can see for yourselves, it felt like lumber cracking. But when I saw that the hill was cracking and my neighbor had gone up over there, I just started screaming, run, run, and I screamed so much I lost my voice. I'm still shaking. Prime Minister Andrei Plenković and Defense Minister Damir Krstičević visited Hrvatska Kostanica today. I have to admit that most of us here have never seen anything like this. It's like from the movies. In a couple of seconds, a number of houses and roads just disappeared. I think this is a very unusual situation and that people who live in these areas have to be very careful because it seems to me that nature acts so swiftly here that it is very difficult to take preventive action. Luckily, neighbors here warned each other immediately when they saw cracks appear on the road and that the majority of them fled their homes on time. And taking a quick look at sports in tennis, Croatia's Borna Cioric is through to the round of 16 at Indian Wells after beating the tournament's 13th seed, Roberto Bautista Agut of Spain, 6-1, 6-3. He plays American Taylor Fritz for a place in the quarterfinals.
And now the forecast for tomorrow. Overcast with rain throughout the entire country in the first half of the day. Rains will cease and skies begin to clear from the west in the afternoon, although the far east and south of the country will still see some showers. There will be a mild to moderate westerly and southwesterly throughout most of the coast, northwesterly on the open seas, and shifting to a northeasterly on the northern Adriatic. Morning lows of 2 to 8 degrees Celsius inland, 6 to 11 on the coast, will give way to highs of 9 to 15 degrees. The three-day forecast for the interior calls for more rain from Thursday into Friday morning. Moderate to strong southwesterly winds will bring slightly warmer temperatures. A new round of cloud cover on Saturday will be accompanied by rain, which will turn to sleet and snow, primarily in mountainous regions, as temperatures drop during the day. The coast will see variable weather with intermittent rain. There will be a moderate to strong southeasterly and southwesterly. There could be some heavier downpours on Saturday when the northern Adriatic will see a northeasterly wind, the central coast southwesterly and westerly, and southern Dalmatia a southeasterly. And that wraps up the news. Be sure to join us again tomorrow night.